come across pictures and videos of young millionaires and multi-millionaires online or offline flaunting their riches. Cars, houses, huge salaries, expensive wristwatches and even trending gadgets. And this has made you question yourself on why you are not as rich as these people. Well, the truth is that you are defining financial well-being from a wrong perspective if it is based on what you see and what you hear. These people may flaunt riches, but they are not as financially stable as you assume them to be or financially buoyant as you are. Engaging in a constant competition with these people who display their riches will always make you feel like a failure. So in this video, I will be taking you through four key financial signs that shows you are doing well financially even though you don't feel like it. And towards the end of this video, I will be putting you through what competition with purpose actually means. Hi, I am Chinyere, a qualified accountant in Nigeria with over 3 years practical experiences in the field of personal finance, business and human capital development. From my experiences, here are 4 key financial signs to show you are doing well financially even if you don't feel like it. The first key sign is your earnings. You will agree with me that nobody wants to lose in a game. Whether it's a football game or a status game, the winner wants to keep being the winner. And per adventure the winner loses to somebody else in the game, they become hungry and demotivated. So it is when it comes to one's earnings. No one wants to be the lowest earner among their peers or co-workers. One study shows that people tend to feel better and satisfied and convince themselves that they are doing well financially because they are earning above those in their circle. But they immediately feel like a loser when their peers or co-workers are earning above them. Using the earnings or the paycheck of your peers or others in your circle as a financial benchmark is not a good measure of financial well-being for three good reasons. The first reason is that your earnings could be above that of your co-workers but far below your country's national average income for your job type. The second reason is that your income could be above that of your peers but still insufficient for you to meet up with debt obligations and finance your goals. The third reason is that you could be earning a higher salary than others but still find it difficult to save anything at the end of the month. All these scenarios are facts. And it goes to underline the point that comparing your income with that of others in order for you to feel better does not mean you are doing well financially. According to Forbes, the average annual salary in the United States stands at $59,428. In the UK, it is £28,000. Why the average annual salary in Nigeria and other countries in Africa hovers around $9,300? This national statistics is a good measure of your income based on your location. You need to shift your focus from others to within. Ask yourself if you are currently engaged in a comparison that will lead to your financial freedom. Ask yourself if you are earning about or above your country's national average income for your job type. If your answer to these two critical questions is yes, then you are doing excellently well with your finances. If no, then you need to reconsider your current job for a new one, even if you are earning above your co-workers, in order for you to meet up with your country's income average and repurpose yourself to the path of financial freedom. This brings us to the second key sign, which is your savings. Earning about or above your country's national average income is a good start. The next critical question is how much do you save from this income monthly? Is it 20%? 40%, 60%, let us know in the comment section below. As you advance in age, you begin to realize that savings is a significant aspect of life and you almost cannot achieve anything without savings. Is it debt repayment, emergencies, your financial goals, mortgage repayment, retirement, investment or securing your financial future? All this depends on savings. 
A recent survey by Bankrate shows that 22% of Americans have no savings at all, and 56% of Americans cannot settle a $1,000 emergency. In the UK, the percentage of those who have no savings stands at 16%, while over 60% of Africans go into debt to cover up for emergencies because they have no savings. This slack in savings habit isn't as a result of these people not having a source of income. It is because they do not prioritize their needs over their wants. I must quickly add that savings is not a factor of your salary. It is a factor of your mindset, a factor of determination. There are several workers out there who earn huge amounts of salary monthly, but they do not have a significant amount of money saved for emergencies or other issues. Whereas there are earners out there who earn low salary, but they have a good amount of money saved at the end of the month. As long as you are saving up something every month, towards investment, retirement or emergency. You are doing excellently well with your finances. You just need to ensure that your savings rate increases as your salary increases. The third sign is your expenditure. How much do you spend in a month? Do you have an idea? Let us know in the comment section below. Knowing the ratio of your expenses to your income is a very important factor in determining your financial well-being. This is because expenditure and savings are inversely related. The higher you spend, the lesser you save and vice versa. Have you bothered tracking what percentage of your income goes to your expenditure monthly? 50%, 80%, 100% or 110%. A good number of people who flaunt their riches online or offline are living above their income. Many of them depend on debt to fund these expensive and flashy lifestyles. And the fact that they display all these expensive items does not mean that they are doing well financially. Ensuring that your expenditure is below your income or your income is far above your expenditure is a good sign that you're doing well with your finances. The fourth sign is your debt. Debt isn't as bad as it seems. Where the issue lies is the purpose and the management of debt. For example, taking a mortgage loan to buy a home or taking student loan to fund your education is a good and purposeful debt. This is because home and education are valuable assets. But taking a debt to fund an expensive lifestyle is a bad debt that will lead you into a huge financial crisis. Debt can come in various forms, like the credit card debt, we have the student loan debt, mortgage, car loans, and so on. A report from educationdata.org shows that there is a 2.9% decline in student loan debt in the United States in 2023, while the UK records a 6% increase in credit card loans in 2023. These statistics simply shows that as more people are becoming indebted, much more are becoming debt-free. If you belong to the category of people whose debt are reducing, people who do not fail to settle their debt installment, people who do not depend on debt to settle their emergencies, then you're doing well financially. You are doing excellently well with your finances. If you belong to the opposite category of this, then you need to reevaluate your money habits to avoid falling into huge financial crisis. Finally, you need to play your own game. You will notice that the four key financial signs we mentioned above, from earnings to savings to expenditure to debt, are all explained on the basis of external factors like national data. In as much as these national statistics matter, it shouldn't matter more than your personal statistics. That is the you then versus the you now statistics. A competition of purpose is chiefly an evaluation of yourself from within and not outside. Evaluate yourself by asking, is there a positive change in this month's savings compared to my last month's savings? Is my debt reducing? Is my investment increasing? Am I making significant progress towards the realization of my goals for this year? All these are purposeful competition that will bring about financial progress and financial freedom in the long run. Hope you got something valuable from this video. If you do, let us know in the comment section below. To enable this video get to more people who will find it helpful, the little you can do is to drop a comment for us below, like this video, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to share this video to friends and families who will find it helpful. Thank you for watching. See you here next week.